Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a little bit different of a video. Last time I cleaned my makeup room, I didn't film it, but I put on Snapchat all the makeup that I got rid of. My last clean out was... So just letting you guys know if you hear anything in the background, I've got Ava next to me with music playing on the phone because I'm trying to film this video with Ava in the room with me, so wish me luck. So in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning out my makeup drawers. Now last time I did this, I posted on my Snapchat, I mean not my Snapchat, my Insta story, all of the makeup that I was throwing away. And I got so many DMs of people asking me to film it, so apparently people really like watching these cleaning videos. I thought it would be boring and I actually started the other day. I got through three drawers. Actually, I think I got through four drawers and then I stopped and then today I was like, no, you know what? I'm going to film it. So quickly before I start, anyone that follows me on Instagram would have seen that I posted that I was cleaning out some stuff for a giveaway. So see these boxes here? Yeah, these are so heavy and big. Like look how big, oh that's not stuff on properly, but look how big and awesome these giveaways are. So I cleaned out my drawers a few months ago and I got rid of a lot of stuff, so I did a clean out after I stopped um, freelancing, so I got rid of anything that I would have used for my kit, so any like really foundations that really aren't my shade and like just a lot of stuff that I'm like, you know what, I don't need this anymore, I got rid of it and I threw away a huge box, but today I'm going to throw out a lot more. We have a guest. So to enter to win one of the giveaway, <laughs> so to enter to win one of the giveaway boxes at the end of this video, leave me your Instagram handle or your email, just a way that I can contact you. And oh, Bobby! And after 24 hours, I'll pick someone to win. So yeah, just leave a comment, write whatever you want. I don't really care. Just as long as oh, and like this video. It's very important that you are showing love and supporting to win because that means the world to me. So enough about the giveaway, you guys know what to do and we're gonna get on with the cleaning. So I have this bag here and what I usually do is I just pop in the makeup that I'm getting rid of as I go. You wanna just sit there? <laughs> Okay, so this first drawer is my highlighters drawer. So these are like one of my favorite new highlighters. Well, they're not new, but like they're new to my collection. They're Melissa Sassine. Oh, there's like four of them actually. So Soft Glow is a nice pinky one. I don't use one this light, but it's nice if I do a really pinky look. And then Halo. Oh, can you see Halo? This one here is one of my favorites. This one is New and Untouched. So I'm actually going to pop that in my extras drawer down the bottom. So this is what Halo looks like untouched. It's a really nice pigmented highlighter. And then I have this one here called Bronze Beam. I don't really use highlighters this dark. Would be nice as a bronzer, but I have a lot, so I'm gonna give this one away. I actually just moved these into the little rubbish one before, but I forgot to show you guys. These liquid ones, these have had their time. I've used them. I never really messed with them too much. Um, and this is one from another brand, and I just don't really use these things very much, or so I'm getting rid of those. This highlighter is from Tarte. It's one of the um, holiday collection ones. I have used it a little bit. You can see like it's used a tiny bit. But I never really loved it. It's really like chunky. Like you can see compared to the other ones. It's just more of like a flaky highlighter. And I like more of a wet highlighter. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And as for the Artist Couture highlights. I have so many of these. You can see on the side. Because I got these in PR ages ago. But I have all of them. So I'm just going to keep most of them. Because even though I don't use them as highlights very often. They're amazing as eyeshadows. So I am going to hold on to those. I think I decided the other day when I started this. I'm just going to get rid of two. Of course I'm keeping this. This is the most gorgeous, most wet and dewy highlighter ever. Like look at that. It's so good. So definitely keeping that. I had a few colors of this. It was probably like five different shades. I got rid of them and only kept one because I thought maybe I'll use it. But I haven't used it yet. So let's... Oh, that is really blinding. Why have I not used that? I ha I'm definitely keeping this. Oh, that's really nice. Like, even when I blend it out, look how pigmented that still is. Okay, I haven't used this yet, but I'm going to put it at the top so I use it. Seriously, that's so nice. I don't know why I haven't used it. This is another one. I don't think I'm going to use it very much. 
pretty vulgar. It's, um, I got it from a Sephora press day. I'll give it a little swatch. Oh, that is really nice. Okay, I'm keeping that. Okay, so these are all the highlighters that I'm keeping. I have a few Hoola bronzers here. In my PR drawers, I do have all the new ones. So if I have enough room, I'll add them in. And this is why I can't stress to you how much I need to clean because there's no room for any of my new makeup. So this one is Hoola Light. I honestly don't use it much, but it's really good for contouring my nose when I don't want it as dark. Now I have an empty one, so I'm gonna throw, get rid of that one because I have a full one here, which I've used as well, but I'll just give the one that's running out to my mom or one of my friends. These bronzers, again, I got heaps of shades in these, but I just never mess with them too much, so I'm gonna give that away. This bronzer was literally probably the first item of PR I ever received. So Urban Decay was the first company that ever paid me for a post. I'm just going to keep this for memories because I remember receiving this PR package and just, I was in awe. I was sitting on the floor of my makeup room for hours just staring at it. I couldn't believe all the makeup I got that I didn't even pay for. So I have two of the MAC Refined Golden. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but this one is my original one, which is like just the normal packaging. This was a special edition one, and for some reason, I felt like the special edition one never came up as nicely as the original. I'm actually going to swap, swatch them and see. Can you see that? This one looks a bit more pigmented. I don't know if it's just me. Can you guys see that? You saw it. So this one, oh my god, I thought I was like tripping out. I never even thought to swatch them. So I don't know if they like skimped on the product because they needed to spend money on the packaging. But I knew I didn't like this one. That's so crazy. Mac, you have some explaining to do. No, it's still a really nice bronzer. Like I still liked this one when I used it. But I just knew it wasn't as good as the original. Is it the same bronzer? Yeah, it is. Even though it's the pre-packaging, it just don't work as good. So I'm going to hold on to my original and I'm going to give this one away. So these are the last bronzers that I have. These are my BH Cosmetics ones. So this one, I love this bronzer. It's a really nice jewelry one. I'm so sorry about the background noise about Saatchi and Ava and Ricky. There's a lot going on in the house, but I really wanted to film this video and it was very spontaneous. So I just have to make do. So this one is really, really pretty. This is called the Tropical Tan Satin Bronzer. So I'm definitely keeping this one. And then this is from a different collection, the Brilliance Bronzer. So I'm going to see which ones I want to keep. So I'm going to open them all up and I'm going to try and only hold on to one of them because I just don't need three of the same bronzer, especially if they're like really, really similar. Okay, so I'm definitely not keeping that one. That's for like someone really, really fair. Colors of a Coco Goody Bronze Babe. I'm just going to swatch them and see. Good idea is swatching them next to what I've got. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one because it looks a little bit more red. I have a lot of ashy, a lot of cool tone bronzers, so I'm gonna keep this one. On this side, I have all of my contouring cream bronzer products. I have not reached for this in so long, but again, it was something that I spent a lot of money on when I first started, so I can't throw that away because it's Chanel. Okay, this is actually pretty good. I used to have like 50 of these in my drawers. I'm not even joking. So I'm going to hold on to four of them just because they're all like half empty anyway. Again, don't reach for these on a regular day, but in a drugstore video, 100%. And then I'm going to get rid of these two shades because they just look too light to actually do much contouring. So I'm going to get rid of those. Then we'll quickly go through my single blushes and then we can move on to the next draw. So this one I put to throw away. It's a really nice blush. I have used it, but I just do not grab for it because I have so many blush palettes. So I'm going to give that one away. This I received from Sephora Press Day. It's by Natasha Denona. It's a really cute concept, but the blush is just really really shiny and I like a shimmery blush but this is just too shiny and then the highlight is not really pigmented at all it's very subtle so I'm going to give this away to a friend or a relative that like really natural makeup because that's who it's good for I have three blushes from the balm this one's like really really pink I don't know if I'll reach for that but let's see what else I've got here this one I do really like it's like a real dupe for NARS orgasm like it's literally the exact same thing, so I'll keep that because I used to reach for that a lot. Now, these two look pretty similar. 
So this one's a little like underwhelming. I don't think that'll do much. So I'm going to throw that. I'll keep this because if I do like a really dramatic drugstore look, that'll be perfect. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. I really don't reach for this very, very much. I've used it in a few videos, but I just don't grab for it very, very often. So I think I'm going to give this one away. The concealer drawer is honestly crazy. This is something that I'm a huge hoarder with. Like, I do not need this many concealers. One person should only have a few concealers. So I'm really hoping, really, really hoping we can get through these. So these Huda Beauty concealers are fairly new to my collection. I'm sure you all know when they launched. So what I'm going to do is just give them a little swatch on my arm and then see what I need to keep. Obviously concealer swatch on the arm isn't going to give you a good indicator, but just so I can tell what I want to keep or not. That's definitely too dark to be used as a concealer, but that looks actually like a really good foundation shade. So I'm going to hold on to that because it could be cute for like a little video where I try using it as a foundation. I don't need to swatch this because I know Coconut Flakes is one of the shades that I use. I think this shade may be a little bit too deep for me to use as a contour. It is. So I will never use that as a contour. So I'm just going to give this away to somebody I know that's more tan than me because, yeah, I definitely won't use something that light. So that's definitely for a much deeper skin tone. Yeah, I think this one will definitely get given away. It doesn't look like a color that I can use. It's called... Camel corn. Yeah, no, I'm not going to use that. So I'm just going to speed up the process. I threw these on top because when I cleaned my drawers the other day, I already took these out and I was up to this drawer when I was cleaning and then I just threw them back in so I could film. So with the Makeup Revolution concealers, this is C2, that's C10. This is too light and this is too dark for me, so I'm going to give those away. And then I have a million and one shape tape. I'm going to try and cut it down a bit more now. But these three shades, I had doubles and they looked pretty empty. And then same with this one. It's the Maybelline Adri Wind. Um, it's like pretty low. So I've got a double, so I'm just going to chuck it. So I actually picked out these also the other day. They're the Airbrush Concealer. I just don't really wear this formula much. So I think I've kept shade number two, which is the medium shade, and I got rid of the light one and the dark one. So I had these all in the side. I've got quite a few of these now. These are actually really nice concealers, and I used to use them a lot, and then when I started getting like shape tape and all of these other concealers, I kind of forgot about them. And I used to literally finish these and repurchase them. Pretty sure you can't get them anymore. I don't think I've seen them online. The reason why I'm gonna throw these out is because I've had these for at least, I want to say four years, potentially five. Now on the back it says 12 months. Most concealers I will get through in 12 months or less. I'm opening this, it stinks. So like it has a really strong and a very like, it's not something you want on your face. I don't remember it having that strong of a smell, but like, I don't know if you can see. It is a really nice concealer, like... See how creamy it is? If I could repurchase it, I will, but they just smell way too strong. I'm going to throw these away. I'm not going to give them away. I'm just going to throw them away because I really think they're expired. Like, they reek. <laughs> okay, look how many shape tapes I have. These are the only shape tapes that I have opened. I actually have so many more in my PR drawers, which you guys will see in the next video. I think what I'm going to do is look underneath and literally only keep one of each. If they're doubles, I'm giving it away. Like, I have four opened of light medium. Yes, that is my most used shade, but still, who needs four of one concealer? This shade here is Fair Beige. It's a little bit pinky, like, I don't know if I'll even really use that very often as a base. I'm going to compare it to Fair. Yeah, see, it's weird. Fair is like a very like white tone and then fair beige is pinky. So I'm going to hold on to fair and I'm going to give that away. Tan, however, I don't think this is going to be useful for me because that's going to be darker than my foundation, but I can't contour with it. So I'll get rid of that one. So this one is tan sand. 
that's a really nice shade if I want to just match to my foundation if I'm like really dark. But again, I don't know if that's too dark to hold on to. How weird is that? They're both tan sand, but look how different they are. So this tray here is the tray that I don't use as much, so that's why it's like pushed to the back. So this is the Morphe concealer. I bought the complete wrong shade. I've only used it once. I used it, yeah, once, and I, yeah, I won't use it again just because it's too light and too pink. So I'll give this one away. Another drugstore concealer. It's the Elf. I don't know, but it's like literally pink and zero coverage, so I'm getting rid of that. It literally looks like a sample size. It's like so tiny. This is literally empty. I really like this concealer, but there's nothing left, so I'll get rid of that. So this concealer is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I didn't really get into this concealer that much. I received it in PR, but I think because I compare it to the Shape Tape, I was just like, and eh, whatever. But it's a really nice hydrating formula, and... I got like all of them in PR but like a mini version and I gave those away. So I've just kept the shades that fit me. I kept like the full size one. So that shade is definitely my shade. What's this one? Okay, that's definitely going to be too light and pink. So I'm going to give that one away. And then this shade, light sand. Okay, I can get away that too. Like I said, I won't reach for this much, but you never know. So I'm going to hold on to it. So the next straw is my powders. So this straw should be quick and easy because I don't have like too many powders. So this powder here is my favorite one, hence why I have two. I don't know what's going on there, but this is the Shape Tape Powder. Um, this I'm definitely getting rid of. There's literally not much left as you can see. Oops. And I'm really not using Kat Von D much anymore because I don't really like her brand. Very Sorry, I like her products. I just do not like her at all. So I try not to support her brand too much, you know. I got taken off their PR list anyway because I've been very foist about how much I don't like her, which I don't really care. Um, what's this? Motives. I don't know what this is. I got this in PR. I've kept a few things from this brand, but because I have so many powders, I can't see myself using this, so I'm going to give that one away. For another one of my drugstore powders, the Maybelline Fit Me. To be honest, I did not fall in love with these like everybody else did. I've got the Fair Light 10 and Light Medium 20. To be fair, I've only given them literally like one shot, and I might have just had a bad day, but they felt very drying. So I'll give them another shot. I got this one for my under eyes and this to set the rest of my face. So I should give them another shot before I get rid of them. And these are extremely popular. So I'd be stupid to just get rid of them. This powder I didn't like when I first tried it. It's the Peach Perfect. And again, I've only given it one shot. So I don't want to say I hate it yet. But I just felt like the color wasn't brightening on me. It kind of just mellowed into my skin because um, it's like a peach shade. Oh my god, this actually went into my mouth and it tasted like lollies. But I'm going to give it another shot because that is just too cute not to keep. Okay, so now for the compacts. This one is the Blur Perfect, the um, Too Faced Blur Perfect. I use this and it honestly did nothing. And again, it's so cute, but this one I'm going to have to give away because... Even if I tried it again, I just don't understand how this would ever do anything for my under eyes because it's got no coverage. It's honestly, I don't get this product, so I'm going to get rid of that. This one I received from a Sephora press day. The color just isn't something that would complement my skin tone. I can't use it as a face setting powder and it's not really light enough for a highlighting powder. So I'm going to give that one away. I've heard really good things about this, but it's just simply not my shade. So the next draw is my skincare drawer. Now, this actually isn't all of my skincare. I'm just going to readjust that. This is like not even my skincare collection. My skincare is all in my bedroom bathroom vanity. So this is just like the overflow of skincare or the skincare that I use specifically when I'm filming or for videos and a lot of this stuff is actually outdated and in my PR drawers that are going to be in one of the next videos, 
that's where a lot of my new skincare is that I really want to start using more. So I thought I'd let you guys know that. Now these, I already know these are going in the bin. I These don't really do anything. I've used them a few times and every time I use them, I'm like, what did they even do? So I'm going to give these little professional little things away. This I'm giving away. It's from Bite Beauty. It's an agave lip mask. I know that these agave things are meant to be really popular. But this, like, I'm just going to show you. Like, I can't even squeeze it out. It's the thickest thing in the world. Like, I wouldn't know what it would do for me. Definitely keeping this. My girl Yasmina created this. It's her brand. She is a mom from Melbourne in Australia. It's a clay face mask. So the cool thing about this is that it's a clay... Oh, there we go. It's a clay face mask and it's already like clay so you don't have to mess around with water and mess around with powders it's already done and you just slap it on your face so this i'm getting rid of this is a really nice mask and it works um i like did some work with true self and i did really like this but this is one of those powders that you have to like make yourself which why would I go through that effort when I have the already made one? So I'm going to give this one to one of my friends. Like I said, it still works, but I just don't need it. This I'm getting rid of. It's from, um, what's it called? Hello Fab. It's an eye stick and I've put it under my eyes a few times. I cannot tell you what the hell it does. It doesn't seem like it has any benefits. It's not hydrating like an eye cream. So I love everything from this brand, but this I'm not feeling, so I'm getting rid of that. This cream, I can already, I can already smell it through the container. This was my Ride or Die cream. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is so good, but this is like definitely more than 12 months old. It's turned into kind of like a putty and it's only collecting the oil. So I can't see that really being nice on my skin anymore. So I'm going to throw this one away because it's old and I can tell it's expired because it doesn't work how it's meant to anymore. So I'm warning you, this next drawer is going to be chaotic. Let's just get this drawer, oh my god, I've been dreading the foundation drawer. So this is like the deepest drawer and it's like full. And I cleaned this out a few months ago and this is everything I hoarded. So if you saw one of my um, previous, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say, previous videos, I used this. I didn't love it at first, but then when my makeup was all set, I really liked it. So I feel like I have to keep this for my drugstore videos. Now, these foundations, I used to like them, but since I started using the found sealer and the shape tape, I do not reach for these anymore from Tarte. These are brand new because I had all my old ones, got rid of them, and then I received them in PR. So I'm going to give these away. It's the Estee Lauder Water Double Wear Water Fresh. Um, it's an honestly amazing formula. So it's not the formula, it's the color. So I received these in PR. I got about six shades. The one shade that was my shade, because I'm shade Cashew or Tawny, I can't remember. Um, anyway, my shade was in the PR kit and it was smashed all over all the other ones and all the other ones are like really neutral and light. So that was a shoot go. Um, but I'll show you guys this shade here. So can you see, oh, can you see that's like super, super cool tone. So this doesn't like work on my skin. So I'm going to give that one away. Honestly, this foundation did not work for me at all. And I'm upset about that because I bought this myself. It was about $60. I really wanted this because I saw everybody getting it and I was jealous. I had FOMO, so I bought it and I don't really like it that much. But because I bought it myself, that is like disgusting. I'm going to give it another shot just because it is still pretty new on the market. So I don't want to like give it off just yet, but I'm just going to hold on to it for a bit longer. Just see if I can get my head around it. And if not, next cleanup, it's going in the bin. Okay, something has leaked in here. Ew, all my hands are all greasy. Okay, so I'm just going to get on with it. Um, born this way. I, these are both sand. You can see this one's empty. This one's full. So this one is going away and I'm going to keep the full one. Now this is isn't my shade and I'm really angry because I bought this online and I just guessed my shade and um, we know the makeup forever sticks are not cheap and instead of like taking a look and seeing me the idiot opens it and swatches it on my face and realized it's never gonna work so that's the color oh, that's the color on the inside of my arm where my skin's lighter and my, and my face is so much darker so this 
I don't think it's ever, ever going to match me. So I'm going to give this to a friend that's fair, that I cherish because I spend good money on this. But I'm going to give it away. <laughs> so these, okay, these I didn't really get my head around. I don't know if I'm going to hold on to them or just get rid of them. It's the L'Oreal True Match. I'm going to do, oh my God, I'm already running out of space. Okay, so this is shade um, Sable. Yes, yeah, Sable. Um, I ordered these on the okay, case. No, 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 no. That is like way, way, way too neutral for me. That will never, ever go nice on my face. That's like pure, like, it almost looks mauve on my skin. Okay, no, that's definitely getting given away. This is not my shade at all. It's like literally pure yellow. So I'm going to give that away. This is like the American True Match because here in Australia, our True Match is in this bottle. Um, so I'm just, you know what? This foundation has never worked out for me. No matter what shade I buy, no matter where it's from, none of them work. So I'll show you guys this shade swatch quickly so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's just a really weird color. So I'm going to get rid of it. So these are from Tarte. The sticks, what are they called? The clay sticks. Medium sand. I don't think that's okay. That's like way too light. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, I'm happy with how many I'm getting rid of. This is Tan Deep Honey. That's too dark. Literally too light and too dark. If I mix them together, I could make them work, but I don't need them, so I'm going to give them away. This I didn't really like. Um, I think I'm going to just get rid of it. It's the, what's it called? Maybelline? Yeah, Matte and Poreless. Um, it didn't look good on my skin. It went really dry, so I'm going to get rid of that because... I can't see myself giving it another shot, so I'm going to do that. This Studio Fix looks pretty old. It's got a bit of product in there, but it seems it seems pretty empty. Okay, this foundation definitely giving away. I gave, um, not gave them away, I got rid of them last time I cleaned my drawer. I had like every single shade. I had it recommended by someone, and without trying it myself, I bought it in every shade. For clients, I never once used it, like ever. So I kept one shade that I sh I thought would be my shade and used it, didn't think much of it. I thought I'd use it, but I'm just going to give it away now because I'm not going to use it. Oh my God, that looks so much better. I know that probably looks still crazy to some of you, but considering couldn't even close or open this drawer, I'm really happy with that. So you guys, so this is going to be the last draw in this video and then I'm going to show you guys everything else in the next video. So this is my primers and my setting sprays. This is another drawer that's like overstacked and I'm hoping to bring it down a little bit. This is definitely my favorite setting spray, the Tarte Gel. All my favorite ones are on top because that's obviously what I use. So definitely keeping that. Again, this one, love it so much. Oh my God, look how pretty it looks under the down lines. So I'm going to keep the dewy set. It's time to let go of this. Before I had all of these other ones, these were my ride or die. They smell so good, but these are like old now. I'm scared it'll like make my makeup separate. So as much as I do love these, they're bomb. If you want to purchase the settings, I highly recommend these. They smell good, they work good, but they're old. So that's the coconut one. I'm going to get rid of that. This I don't like. I used this in my last drugstore tutorial because... It's like the only drugstore primer I could find, but I didn't like it. It smells weird and it like balls up. It's very silicony. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, this I'm getting rid of. They just, I feel like they don't do anything. I don't hate them, but I feel like it's not worth keeping in my drawer. It's a color correcting um, primer. with this? Oh, I really, really like this. It's the high performance setting spray. So it's like a heavy duty setting spray from Cover Effects. So good if you want your makeup to last all night. This one from Tarte didn't really do anything for my skin. It's like a putty one, like a balm. So it was nice. It felt good on my skin, but I just don't see it doing anything. So I'm going to give it away. I'm literally going to get rid of all of these because I'm pretty sure they're all just old now. Um, this I don't need. I don't really use it much. It's the Illuminating Primer from Mecca, Mecca Max. It's a nice primer, but I have so many illuminating products. I just don't need it.
Okay, guys, you can see a bit in the background what a mess my room is, but I just want to show you guys. I got rid of a full bag full of face products. So I reckon I'm going to get rid of like three bags full of these. So happy. Don't forget that I'm going to give away one of these at the end of this video. I'm just going to close before it goes out. One of these is going away, so make sure to comment down below anything you want and just let me know how I can contact you and in 24 hours I'll pick a winner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really, really kickback video. I'm tired, I need to eat dinner. So love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.